is a default message uh, for all the movies I make. I basically am trying to say that you should watch everything before coming to a conclusion or making any judgments or ridicule or praise. Or, you know, basically see all before commenting via video or text. I don't want to prematurely affect anyone's judgment on text. They might read the text and not watch the movie. Before coming to conclusions, that is how ignorant and judgmental people are. It's just a wise thing to do. To watch something before... To watch every angle, to listen to everybody, everything somebody has to say before you ridicule or praise them. If you don't know what they say, you can't comment on it. It's just a wise, intelligent thing to do. So I ask you to watch everything, no matter how long it is. If it's an hour, if I break it up into 25 minute parts and different parts, or if it's one, one long hour movie, just watch it all. Because you're doing me or you're doing yourself a disservice. Both. You're doing me and yourself a disservice if you don't watch everything. Thanks. I appreciate it. Free of Mind and Mentality Edition 44. Motorcycle riders, uh, New York City, and the Black Range Rover. I've been dealing with the conduct of motorcycle riders. I've been thinking about. Uh, making a movie on this for a long time, a bunch of movies. First, first off is it's not your own racetrack. It's not your own personal racetrack. I'm directing these comments to the these elitist, snotty, arrogant, thoughtless. I mean, totally thoughtless writers. I had. On a Saturday, I was going to the, super, the supermarket, just a trip, and I stopped at the red light, and then these motorcycle riders came, cut right ahead of me, in front of me to the red light, and then they started, second thing they did is started making a bunch of noise. Like, I don't give a damn, uh, your showboat, you know, little antics, you know? I'm just trying to get to the store. I don't give a damn, you spin, they're spinning their wheels, they're revving on the throttle. The thing is, the third thing is, I have a motorcycle permit. I don't know actually how to ride, and then that leads me to my other point. A side point is that they're so selfish, they don't want to teach anybody anything. This is how people are, their selfishness. That's another video, movie, because they're so thoughtless and selfish, they don't want to pass down their skills to anybody. The, th the thing is, I want to get to this point is, what do you expect? Apparently, there are a bunch of African Americans. This leads me in my four, fourth point. African Americans and other minorities, they want equality, but they can't show it. They want equality, you can't show it. Right? If you want equality, you gotta walk the talk. You gotta show it. Walk the talk. That's, guess what that is? A hypocrite. Hypocritical. If you can't. Do what you say that you want out of other people, then don't practice what you preach. These motorcycle riders are some of the most bullying. They're bullies. That's my fifth point. They're bullies. They're a bunch of stupid bullies. And guess what happens to bullies? Stuff like that. They get run over. They get paralyzed. That's what they get. Bullies don't deserve anything. They're as bad as haters. Now, I'm passionate. I'm passionate, and there's nothing wrong with that. I could sit here and try to be entertaining and make a bunch of, uh, make a stupid entertaining little movie just to get a bunch of hits that people like in it. No, I don't do that. The truth. This conduct, especially these motorcycle riders that go between lanes, there should be a law in, 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 in any state, all 50 states, they should not be able to weave through. They're arrogant about it. It's one thing to be humble and to show respect to people. And respect isn't earned. That's common courtesy. Common courtesy is a form of respect. It's not earned. Okay? You just respect your fellow man. You respect your fellow people. The world, they're people. You respect people, strangers. You don't have to know them. To have common courtesy and, and watch your manners and your P's and Q's. Because your adrenaline's up, because it's a recreational vehicle, 
It's a recreational vehicle abuse. Does it give it anybody any excuse or, or reason or right to go act like animals? A bunch of animals. You? What do you expect? You got a group of like 50 motorcycle riders surrounding one car. What do you expect that person to do? They're going to be in fear, especially when they have a child in there and they got a wife. They, you don't even have to have a child and a wife in there to be scared. You have a right to run off. You have a right to defend yourself. This is what this guy did. Too bad. Yeah, it's, it's horrible this person is paralyzed. You got to look at who started it because it matters who started it. That person started it. These group of motorcycle thugs. Thugs are bullies. Thugs are slime. They're bullies. They're cowards. A bunch of cowards. Ganging up on one person. How many people does it take to gang up on one person? It takes 35, 50 motorcycle riders to do that? A bunch of thugs? You bunch of cowards. One on one. You a bunch of cowards. You have to take 50 people to gang up on one person. Bunch of cowards. Now I'm directing these comments at these motorcycle riders. And, so, and the dirtbag haters, bullies, you know you're out there. I'm not saying all motorcycle riders are like this. Of course not. There's always exceptions, but I'm thinking, I've seen it, there's more, this is more of the exception, there's as good motorcycle riders than bad. There's more bad than good. First hand experience, the way they treated me, I, one guy, it was, I'm a very good driver, one guy came up ahead of me, and I didn't see him, because he's small. And then he followed me, and got angry at me. You know, and I didn't step up and speak up and say, I didn't see you. I just, I got angry at him. I said, you know, you guys, you jerks weave in between lanes, acting like you own the road. You are a bunch of arrogant elitists. Elitists are dirtbags. They deserve everything they get. You're not better than anybody else. If you act like an idiot, elitist, it's making you the dirtbag and the idiot. Not the person, you know, if you act like an elitist, you make yourself really stupid, is what I'm trying to say. You know, I've been trying to get an M1 scooter license, you know, out here. I've been trying to get a, a scooter license out here. It's called an M1. But the thing is, these people, because I don't, I don't want to have to shift. These people have no... Uh, uh, no common courtesy. I'm say, I'm thinking 99.97% of the people I encounter on motorcycles are assholes. Total, complete assholes. Look at some of these comments. Some of these comments right here These pussy bikers give riders like myself a bad name. I ride for fun and pleasure. These fu fuckers try to make into something and some thug activity. That's why you can barely ride anymore because you are looked at like a thug looking for trouble. And they are looking for trouble. That's my own comment. Because the bottom line is if you're a real biker and see pussies like you're giving bikers, good bikers a bad name, speak up and tell them a cooler shit before they enact laws to stop motorcycles in certain areas. This is black SUV Range Rover assault before video. Same group of bikers attacking another driver in 2011. Can you believe that? A same group of assholes. These African American guys. Oh, you can say black. Let's not, let's, let's not be politically correct here. Nobody's a racist for saying black. Okay, these black guys, you know, oh. A hundred freaking years of what? Oppression and slavery? And, and, and they gotta be on more on their toes and cues. They want equality, then show it. Show it. Don't act like I got a freaking hater and a thug and a bully. And hit, this guy's hit somebody, a Prius, his window. I see it on, on here in this video. Why are all these thugs under arrest? They think they're above the law. Running red lights, driving across parking lots on the sidewalks. That's... Deb, Deb Chapman. He doesn't have a user. She doesn't have a username. And the other guy before that was A-G-E-N-T-H-E-L-I-O-S-1. Agent Theos 1. Why are all these thugs under arrest? They think they're above the law. Running red lights, driving across parking lots on the sidewalks. The Range Rover wasn't the only car they surrounded us on, on SmackDown. I can tell you right now, 
Had they been my husband driving the Range Rover or any of the other cars for that matter, somebody would have gotten a bullet. What is wrong with these people? Sure, it's funny. We haven't heard such a upon this week on this. Morons. Not, no real bikers or retards on a motorcycle. Bunch of pussies. Piece of shit cowards on bikes. Pull that shit with somebody like me and see what happens. Some people you can't bully. Run flats from what I've seen. They're not like another tube and a tire or something. It is a ring. Some Sometimes hard and plastic. Or fit. Oh, what is this? Yeah, you may be right. They didn't puncture all the way through. However, in any other case, run, run flats wouldn't run if the tires had been slashed. Hey, Melvin. Fuck shit with them and you'll get what the SUV driver or get worse. Not worse. Now, you got these African American guys, you know, speak, uh, defending the black guys here. Coda Bear, 83. Malvin Boyd, no username. You, you raise this hype behind some blog. If you hate black people that much, you know where they live. Render yourself over to one of these brothers and express yourself. Yeah, you just got. Yeah, just what I figured. Get ass with him. Leave him alone. You get home safe. Fuck with him. You get on an SUV driver. What is he saying? SUV started? SUV driver started? Well, he wouldn't start. He has a kid in the car. These thug bullies harassed him. And you talking about they get what they want? Look at that paralyzed motorcycle rider. The guy guy was black. All you people still talking like shit. There's some kind of bass with what I uh, would have done to Blah, blah, blah. They park right in the middle of the road and wonder why they get run over. Yeah, they hog the road. They act like they own the freaking road. It's not. It's a recreational vehicle abused. Hell's Angels should fuck these wannabe bitches up. While in Florida, some of these guys would be shot already, especially the one biker reaches in some guy's window who would have been on the ground bleeding. They should all be in comas. These people deserve nothing. They deserve to be in prison getting 20 years. I'm telling you, hell with these people. These arrogant, snotty, condescending motorcycle riders. Make it bad for everybody. Should be more regulated. Illegal driving. Fuck those POS. Kill them all. Blood. And he gets into a racist. You know, you get, you get race into the mix. Yeah, you, you, you kind of invalidate your point here. I'm looking at this thing. It really burns me up the way these guys act. Does anybody know why the bike was around the car in the first place? Was well, it just a random act of violence or something happened because they, before that pissed off the bikers? Because they're jerks. They have to have a reason. Haters and bullies don't have to have a reason, you know? And I'm I'm making an educated assumption this is what happened. Because you never know all the facts. They don't disclose everything. I don't know, man. We think that one car chased by hundreds of bikes was pretty damn noticeable, I'm sure. Near Drivers nearby called and complained. New York City and New Jersey are densely populated. A lot of people in small areas. There's no excuse for cops not to be around. I know about the quotas. That's unfair. Did you know one of these motorcycle riders was a detective? He was a cop. Making cops, cops a bad name. I've, seen, I've met some good cops. I met a handful of good cops that were very nice and decent. And then I met a bunch of jerk cops. As a lot of people would say. This reminds me of the game Road Rash. The very first guy that got hit was starting shit on purpose. He was looking behind him and everything. Yeah, he he. You could see the guy hit the slow down and right next to you. What do you expect? You're gonna get hit, idiot. He's an idiot. That's what he gets. He's a bully, any bully, any idiot, and he's a hater. You know? Okay. I am. There's a lot more to say on this, but this thing disgusts me so much. I, I, I don't want to even talk anymore about it. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna hit. Uh, put this as a reply video. The guy had a family inside the SUV. So he was trying to get them out. This whole situation was stupid. The bikers are really stupid. They are insult to all bikers trying to get people off the road and have the road to themselves. Um, but uh, 90, almost 100 percent of motorcycle riders act like that. I just seen one guy. After all this happened, and I see one jerk just speeding like 150 miles down the, the carpool lane. Weaving in and out, not signaling. I, I understand that maybe a lot of things to do. You're shifting gears and you don't, you can't signal. You know, you know, being I have a motorcycle permit, I can see that there's a lot of little things you have to do. It's not a scooter. 
But the thing is, you got to signal once in a while. If you don't have time to signal, you got too many things to do, shift gears, you know, shift the clutch or whatever. You know, put on your throttle. Or whatever you got to do, downshift. I'm a biker lover. I know there's some pretty dumb bikers out there. He did he did slow down on his brakes. I don't know if he did that on purpose. You can see he kind of did, did that on purpose. He wanted to make the SUV stop, but guess what happened? See, he didn't stop, so you're going to get hit and you got paralyzed. But you shouldn't have ran over the other bikers who are trying to stop him. The description says one rider was killed. If a person gets killed, you know you took the shit way too far. So you, you can see, clearly see the guy slamming on his brakes in front of the Range Rover because he had the audacity to drive on his road. Hope all you did is catch it, catch a charge. Hey, I ride a motorcycle, but I have no respect for stupid bikers like that. You should have ran over every last one of these fag ass cowards. I can't say I disagree with really any of these comments. Other than some of the racist ones. Leave the racism out. You know?